Hey guys, Nadine here with your weekly, the weekly report, or whatever we call it. Um, so let's start with a little meditation. Let's put both your hands on your heart and just take a deep breath in and breathe out and breathe in very slowly, breathe out. I had a very busy day and actually normally I don't work this late, but I still wanted to make the video for this week. So here we go. Um, I'm going to start with Archangel Gabriel. Um, he's really good for helping people that are creative. And in a way, we are all creative. When we are born, we're born as creative beings. I sometimes make like my doodle paintings. Um, but as you know, I love also to write. And if you're on my email list, you got the invite for write your book in 40 days. Um, if you want to join us, it's not me running the program, but it's a nice bunch of people. It's a big group. And because writing can be quite solitary, um, I find in general my creative process is... Um, quite i need to be a lot by myself um and i can get quite cranky if i don't have time by myself if, if i get interrupted or or if i have obligations i'm like oh no i just need to be alone i want to be creating um so i think it's good trying to find a balance between being creative letting the juices flow and at the other hand, being in the world. And I can tell you, it's not, not easy, but it works. So, um, because we all at the moment are asked, I think, to step up, to really um, realign ourselves with our soul purpose. Where are you going? What's happening? You know, it's quite important to get that at the moment. Um, and I've been journaling daily more than before, even like really going, okay, uh, what did I give myself permission for? How can I serve better? Um, I always have the feeling that I'm here to serve through my creativity. Um, that doesn't mean that I'm a servant, but that I'm in service of creative energies that are flow through me. So, Let's go and get a card. Oops. Nurture yourself. Investing time in self-care now will yield more energy for you later. And that is super important, nurturing yourself. Um, I, I notice the same thing. If, if I don't nurture myself, my system collapses. So what does it mean for you? How do you nurture yourself? For me, I could be like Epsom salt bath with some beautiful, like a whisper or a lavender oil. If I don't have a time to bath, also I just could take like rose oil and then I just put a bit of rose oil on my wrist and like just the smell of rose oil is already um, nurturing myself. I think it also means um, check in with yourself when you're eating. Is this what my body wants right now? Um, I've been lately trying to eat without working. I have a tendency to read or do anything else while I'm, while I'm eating instead of just eating. Um, and I think it's important if you want to nurture yourself when you take in the food that you go like, oh, this food is nurturing. This is giving me pleasure. This is, this is helping my body to be the best it can be so I can be of service and show up for others. Um, other forms of self-care. Tomorrow I'm having a massage. I love massages. I book those. Um, yeah, I had the dentist appointments last week. Um, all these things, they're, they're, they're a way of nurturing yourself. 
she's actually just sitting and with a book sometimes just take time out and take a book go and sit in nature and one of these you have these books that you could read slow or it could be something you want to read fast sometimes it can be nurturing yourself it could be just like we did in the beginning like and feel and say to yourself you know i am worthy i am good enough i i'm i am good the way that i am we often feel that we are not good enough because we can't fulfill other people their expectations and that is just because we were raised that way we were raised that you have to do what other people tell you um, but when you grow up it's, it changes you go like no i am good the way i am in essence you are like pure divine energy the, the, the energy that has come into a body and that is experiencing what it means to be incarnated incarnate in the flesh what does that mean how how does it feel to be pure pure source energy that suddenly has all these limitations some of your body and, and stiffness my body's quite stiff today and busy day yesterday belly dancing this morning horse riding now taekwondo so it's been like very very busy and i'm like but i'm in my body i'm grounding myself i'm feeling what it is the pains the aches you know um, and a body that's getting older but still nurturing it in, a, in an easy way it's important it's one of the reminders i have also in my phone and you can do that as well you know how you could put reminders in your phone and they'll pop up and i have like life is meant to be easy things like that so think about how can you nurture yourself what what does your soul want from you meditation is a great thing there's a free app called inside timer which i use it's amazing um that's a form of nurturing yourself it doesn't have to be oh i need to go to the spa um or you know or a holiday but it could whatever feels right for you um go for a long walk in the forest forest bathing very very good very nurturing the trees they have this product that they give to you out that will really help you cleanse your whole energy was today i heard on the radio that the cleanest air in the world is in tasmania not sure whether that's true it was just on the radio fun fact but i can imagine because there's a lot of trees in tasmania and that would clean the air so namaste sending you lots and lots of love and nurture yourself follow your your purpose your soul purpose and take good care okay bye for now see you next week